getting to be quite a row of uh, <laughs> beer brews. Uh, this is the 8th uh, brew, ninth day. I think that's right. Uh, and uh, I've made some changes. Uh, the uh, the dark brown one on the left, well, that's, see, that's different. That's got a different malt in it. It's called traditional dark, which I guess means it'll be a dark beer. Um, and and the other thing, same company. And the other thing, it's I've uh, put uh, brewer's yeast in it now. All, all the ones to the right of it uh, have been brewed with uh, bread yeast uh, <clears throat> because I just didn't have brewer's yeast. And <clears throat> and the mason jar in the end is the barm that I've been collecting uh, from the dregs of, of each one of those. Uh, the three with the green lids on the right, I don't expect much of them because they're so thin. I, I made a mistake there. The two blue ones are the right amount of uh, wort, uh, malt in the wort, but uh, but the, the difference is going to be that, that it's not brewer's yeast, as the one on the left is. The one on the right, or I mean the white one, that's ex experimental. <laughs> I, uh, well, I hope I didn't get those mixed up. I think I maybe did. Either that white one or else that purple one uh, is is experimental. I th I think it's it's the purple one that's uh, the experimental one. Uh, but, and the one other change is that I in effect bottled the uh, one on the right. I put a a uh, half teaspoon of honey in it and shut the lid tight. So now it'll, it should carbonate. And we'll see, maybe it'll explode in the night. I'll, I'll crack the lid in the morning to see, see whether it <laughs> it's got pressure built up. There's other differences. We've got some cool evenings now, so it's not exactly <clears throat> top, <clears throat> sorry, top fermented. Uh, it, it, it all slows down a good bit on, on, on the nights and then it picks up again. All right, I guess that's enough for now. Bye.